Dirty cup dumps are the easiest and quickest of all the acrylic pouring techniques. Simply prep a canvas, fill a cup with layers of paint, and dump it. Hopefully, after tilting, something nice will appear. But if it doesn't, don't worry. Just wipe the canvas off, reprep, and try again. Keep repeating until you get one you like. Reusing canvases like this works because the following dumps put so much paint on them that it covers any residual paint. This means a dump only costs the price of the paint, 20 to 50 cents per dump, depending on how much you pay for your paint. A trickier technique that sometimes produces more interesting results involves placing the canvas upside down on the filled cup, inverting everything, then lifting the cup to release the paint. While there are dozens of YouTube videos showing people getting excellent results from both techniques, as you can see from these attempts, it's not as easy as it looks to produce an attractive pattern. One commenter suggested using a cup with a hole in the bottom to release the paint. Blocking the hole with a finger until it was over the canvas would control the flow. I thought this was a good idea, but decided to get a little fancy and use a pancake batter pourer instead of a cup. It worked. Well, Sort of. The problem was that most of the upper layers of paint got held up on the sides of the pourer, and the colors mixed together too much. Also, letting it dribble out too long resulted in what looks like a bunch of spaghetti in the middle of the canvas. To reduce the mixing problem, I glued dividers into the container to prevent the colors from blending before the pour. This helped a little, but because there has to be a clearance between the bottom of the dividers and the top of the valve, the colors ended up getting mixed together anyway. I now think a cup with dividers and a hole in the bottom might be a better way to go, and we'll try it next time. Thanks for watching. This is way off topic, but if you're a Downton Abbey fan, you might enjoy the Downton Abbey trivia page on my main website at waynesthisandthat.com. It'll be under the Movies heading.